Do guys belong on a death row or a condemned row if there is such a row? They belong in a place like this? If they're, they've been convicted of murder and killing? Most of the people in here are just your reflections. They're your mistakes so, as a collective society. Even though they have rebelled against that society? Well, uh, who they weren't born rebelling. They weren't born with uh, the anger and frustration that they have that had to be put on them by somebody. Somebody created them. Uh, it's as if your outside world programs people into education and knowledge. The inside unprograms people to wisdom and understanding. The people that govern you, the people that tell you people what to do, they're not good people. Your years. How do you feel about spending the rest of your life in prison? Well, we're all our own prisons. We each are our own wardens, and we do our own times. We used to get stuck in our own little trips, and we kind of judge ourselves the way we do. You know, uh, I can't judge uh, nobody else. The best thing I can do is try to judge myself and live with that. You scared to die? Sometimes I feel I'm scared to live. Living is what scares me. Dying is easy. Getting up every day and going through this again and again is hard. I'm inside of you, man. Yeah. I live inside of you. I'm inside every one of you. And to say that suggests that what? You being evil is inside of all of us? Life. Yeah. Evil. It's not, you know, it's beyond good and evil, man. It's a balance. It's abaraxis. Man died in the wars. Arlington Cemetery's got all the men. Two thousand years, the man's been dying. It's all a reflection of mother. Well, when you're cutting the trees down, you're taking my life. And in short, the United States has been sold out by people who really don't care for anything but money. I've had all the money in the world three times. I had to give it back to keep the game going. What game? The game. It's a game. Money is a game. It's only real to the people who work for it. Life is God. All life. Bugs, birds, trees, everything that's alive is God. The sun is God. But we've got God over here on a cross. We've got a dying man over here on a cross and we're all kneeling down hoping that if we die there's a better place somewhere else. Well, you've got a whole bunch of people hoping that they die creates a hell of a big energy. And I call it a death wish. It's mother's death wish. It's what everybody's going towards dying, like the Vietnam War when they wanted to blow the world up. And what have you got to do with God once again? I'm just a messenger of the truth. They crowd me and I got this little space. My life is bigger than this little space. I live in the desert. I live in the mountains, man. I'm big. My mind is big. But everybody's trying to crowd me down and push me down and make me into all these little things that they need me to be. And that's not me at all, man. That's not me. The way you go to court, they need a conviction. They need criminals, man. They need people to lock up in cages. If they didn't have people to lock up in cages, man, they wouldn't be able to sell more fear to the public. And they sell more fear to the public and all the old women, they love to buy that fear. Hey, have you any positive side to Charlie Manson? Positive what? Oh, come on, man. You didn't complete the other thought. Positive to Charlie Manson. I'm both negative and positive. Are you good and evil? I'm very thankful. In other words, the ways of the animals I, I identify with more than I do with the ways of the humans. Humans are, are pretty stupid. Humans won't survive. Humans ain't going to survive. Not the way they're going. Think they're going to destroy themselves? Yeah, definitely. They're going to destroy every fucking thing. They're destroying everything. See, people don't realize how many... If you sit down and you started thinking people, it would take you 10 weeks to think up 200 million people, man. Do you know how many people that is? Now you run out of food with 200 million people. You run out of oil with 200 million people. You run out of thought with 200 million people. You got a lot of meat there, man. That's a lot of meat to deal with, T. You know, I'm reaching for perfection, just like we all reach for perfection. But my perfection is in the air, the water, the trees, and the wildlife. And it goes beyond my physical. You see what I'm saying? In other words, they can't understand, I've already gave this physical up, man. The physical's hanging down there on the courtroom. You know, if you want to interview me, why don't you go talk to the 
to the DA, maybe he can make up some more lies for you, some more stories for you. And here's another thing that you people talk about, all these peace movement, all these demonstrators, they'll run out and demonstrate for a nuclear power plant and turn, go home and turn electricity on. If you want to demonstrate for a nuclear power plant, don't use electricity. <laughs> Does it make sense? You know what I'm saying? They want to demonstrate for something on one hand and get their faces up in the camera and like, look at me, I'm different you know, or pay me to be somebody, you dig? And then on the other hand, they can't be somebody because they go home and turn the fucking electricity on and use the same fucking pollution. You dig what I'm saying? In other words, you can't protest cutting down trees with paperwork. You can't protest pollution riding around in automobiles, you dig? I told you 40 years ago, get back to the horse, man. What's the best way to change things? I get back to the horse. If you don't get back to the horse, there's going to be nothing left of you. Now, it's dawning in the minds of many it's dawning in the minds of chemistry. It's dawning in the minds of well, biology. And if Jackson wants to run to be president, man, <laughs> you better hope somebody wants to be president. You dig what I'm saying? But uh, who in the hell would want to be? Can you, can you conceive of what kind of brain would want to want, want to lead these, these fucking rube scoops out there? In the, you know, because there's no communication with them. You dig? If you took a horse whip and beat them, they still wouldn't understand what the hell you're talking about because there's no... There's no intelligence there, man. There's too many people. Oh, man. Yeah. You know. They'll pray for Hitler to come back. They'll wish he hadn't been here. They don't have the intelligence to change. Once you get them, huh, they'll go, huh, the rest of their life, huh, huh. They'll do that for a paycheck, huh, huh. You tell them, don't do that no more, and they go, huh, huh. There's no communication. You tell them, I tell them, stop doing that. And they'll go, huh, huh. I said, stop it. And they'll go, huh? And you cut the someone's fucking throat and throw blood in their face. And they'll go, huh? Huh? You see what I'm saying? In other words, there's just no intelligence, man. So you, don't have any, you don't have any hope for mankind? Man. Uh, not on that level. Not on that level, I don't. No. That's not mankind. That's not intelligence, you know? It's not even beast. It don't have the intelligence of a zoo, you know? The United States is owned by foreign corporations. Nixon opened it up for foreign trade. And when Nixon opened up for foreign trade, uh, the people of Europe and the common market in Spain and different places, they don't care about the United States forest. And in short, the United States has been sold out by people who really don't care for anything but money. I've had all the money in the world three times. I had to give it back to keep the game going. What game? The game. It's a game. Money is a game. It's only real to the people who work for it. The people that don't need to work for money, they it's, you know, it's a monopoly game. It's a, it's a game of um, paper. It's all on paper. I've got a production company, and I've got a recording company, and I've got a mansion in Beverly Hills, and I've got Rolls Royces and Ferraris. I've got everything money can buy but it's all on paper everything's done through the companies and through the tax loopholes and and the people that live on that level they don't care about the average honest mule that just goes back and forth to work uh, they don't care about the children that are in the streets that are thrown out of this upper echelon of existence and then when all the children fall down into me on my level, I pretty much identify with them because I was a throwaway also. So it goes to the point of, do you really care? When you said- And who does care? And if anybody cares, they're considered crazy. I've been 15 years in the nut ward for trying to stop the trees from being cut down from trying to uh, rearrange a lifestyle of a bunch of people who don't want to change, but they're going to change because the cold wind is blowing.